Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Suresh from Mind is a Monkey, coming at you guys with another episode of Let's Check Out Some Diecast. And this time, I have something pretty interesting. <clears throat> this is a six-pack uh, of Zamac, Zamac cars. So um, we've seen Zamac cars um, uh, in previous videos. So, but unlike those Zamac cars, which are typically exclusive to Walmarts in the United States, this one was not a Walmart exclusive. So this was supposed to be um, uh, released in the earlier half of 2023, but for some reason, I'm not sure whether it was a production issue or whether it was a distribution issue, it never made it to our uh, local sellers. And, uh, you know, randomly people started finding them, um, you know, at Barnes & Noble, who happens to be a, a very popular bookseller in the, here in the United States. And some of uh, my other friends found them in Joanne. Uh, uh, that's, that's another chain of, uh, you know, hobby supply stores. So, um, and uh, recently on my Instagram, uh, you know, some, on, on my feed, some of the posts they popped up saying that these were uh, becoming available um, in, in Canada too. So um, uh, I want to give a shout out to my friend and uh, uh, collector buddy, uh, Travis Bayer. Um, this is such a cool guy. Travis um, not only helped me with this set, but he has also been like a huge help uh, in, uh, uh, you know, connecting me with uh, friends uh, from Green Bay, where I used to be earlier. Um, uh, before I moved to the Milwaukee area. So Travis is um, such a laid back, such a cool guy. He helps me um, uh, get stuff from Green Bay if, if I have some stuff or trades or sale items from here, um, uh, he would be more than happy to help. And you know, he's, um, he's so laid back when he does that. He does it like such a matter of fact. So, um, you know, I want to uh, send out a shout out and a huge thank you to Travis. Um, I think people like Travis make the hobby real fun. All right. So let's review um, this Zamac six pack uh, today. So let's let's check out the castings. So we have a Chevy Silverado off road, a 2016 BMW M2, <clears throat> a 74 Brazilian Dodge Charger and everybody's favorite, the Datsun Bluebird Wagon 510 and the King Cuda and the 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. It's got some pretty cool castings. And it'll be interesting to note that some of these castings, we have had Zamac releases in the past, especially these two. We would, we would be covering them um, in a short while. And this one also made um, an earlier appearance in Zamac. But you know, when I checked the um, a card on that, it did not have the Super Snake classification. And earlier we have had a twenty. Uh, we have had a BMW M3 released in Zamac, and we have had a Chevy Silverado Trail Boss being released as a Zamac. But that's it. It, it was not. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure if um, this casting and the Trail Boss are really the same, and they just like shipped it off as a new item. So we 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 could check those details. So without further delay, let's get this opened up. So look at the packaging. They, they come in a clamshell packaging. Um, so, and it would be interesting to know that, you know, Mattel has, has started pr producing more variations of these uh, six packs. The last time I checked Bonds & Noble, um, every time I, I go there, I also check out the Diecast Ale, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> right? So um, I, I think their most recent one has been some kind of like a European exotics um, uh, packed with, um, you know, Porsche, BMW, Audi, and whatnot. So that, that kind of castings. So, um, uh, you know, Mattel is continuing this uh, six-pack uh, releases. So this one's a very interesting one. And you may remember me telling you from earlier videos, I'm very happy to say that, you know, I have had all the Zamac releases back when they started in 2012 or 2013. And, and back when they used to have like 18 castings every year. So, you know, I mean, being able to get this back uh, is, is really um, like a kicker for me, right? All right, let's get this opened up. Mm. 
just one moment i'm just like opening this off camera so there's a pretty cool packaging there <laughs> all right there we have it so first we have a chevy silverado off-road it's got some pretty nice details there it's got some pretty nice details there with the the Toyo tires um, uh, livery there. So, uh, like I said earlier, <clears throat> we have had a Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. So, as you can see, these are definitely uh, different castings because the Trail Boss is like much longer, right? It's it's much longer than the Chevy Silverado Off Road in this release. So the fronts are also, uh, you know, I mean, this definitely looks more off-roadish, while this one looks like it's built for the roads, right? <clears throat> so, uh, excuse me. So there we have the Chevy Silverado off-road. Pretty be beautiful casting. And then up next, we have the 2016 BMW M2, right? Pretty cool Beamer colors there on the uh, unpainted um, bar Zamac body. So this was the M3 casting um, that we had probably. Um, we had that release in 2020. So that was like um, three years ago. So there we have the BMW M2 from this release. And then next we have the 74 Brazilian Dodge Charger. It's a pretty uh, neat looking black and yellow stripes. <clears throat> this is the most more fiery. Back in uh, 2015, we had this um, a release of the Brazilian Dodge Charger in Zamac. So this is pretty cool, you know, fiery decals and everything. So, and here we have the 2023 counterpart. And up next, wow, check that out. That's the Datsun Bluebird Wagon 510. You know, I mean, typically any Hot Wheels collector um, uh, you would meet, this would definitely be in their like top 10 castings up, you know, unless you're like an absolute American muzzle lover, uh, you know, the Datsun uh, uh, wagon would definitely be in the top 10 favorite castings of all time, right? So this is the wagon. So you may, you may remember the Datsun coupe. So that's just like this casting, but you know, with, without, without the wagon part, right? It's a pretty cool livery there. I have, I mean, it, this, this casting is definitely one of my favorite castings too. I have quite a number of these castings. Maybe I will do a separate video, um, you know, covering my collection of that casting. I don't have all of them, but I think I have a pretty um, decent one. And, you know, we got, we, 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 I missed this one. So this one came back in 2017. Um, yeah, so this one made, um, uh, I think this was the Serves Up mini series or something like that. So this one um, was a very sought after ZMAC, um, you know, back in 2017. So there we, you have the Surf Patrol and everything. So there we have, you know, as if, you know, making a ZMAC of the Datsun Bluebird wagon it was not enough they made two of them so it's pretty cool uh you know so this was this was uh, especially if you're like a completionist this is definitely uh, like uh, like a very cool casting to have all right there we have the Datsun bluebird wagon up next we have the king cuda pretty i mean i really dig the livery on this guy so you know that that Blazing, set the road on fire, kind of a livery. Wow, it's like uh, it's 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 hotted engine and whatnot. It's pretty cool, pretty awesome casting. This reminds me of 
you know, uh, uh, the Walmart exclusive Zamax uh, that they did some, some time back. I'm not exactly sure of the year, but it was Walmart exclusive, at least here in the United States. Um, and I think they had probably eight, maybe 10 castings. I got to look that up. So the livery, uh, the, the decals on this car, um, uh, you know, bring back strong memories of that, that particular release. <clears throat> and finally, we have the 2010 Ford Shelby GD500 Super Snake. Wow, pretty rad casting. And, you know, I definitely dig the, uh, um, you know, Shelby Mustang. And so this made uh, an earlier appearance in 2015, right? So in 2015, it made an appearance, but back then, um, you know, the card did not have the Super Snake, uh, you know, classification. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if that was a thing, um, you know, um, not not exactly sure why it, why it got left out. But, you know, yeah, I mean, maybe for good reason, because you can definitely see some visible differences between the two castings, right? It, it definitely seems like a different tool, because look at the hood here, right? So the hood kind of like stops here while while um, uh, back on the 2015 model, you know, it, it comes all the way to the very edge, you know? But other than that, I mean, spoilers and body-wise, they look the same to me, yeah? Pretty cool casting, um, the 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. So um, that's what we have for this episode. I hope um, you liked uh, the content here. So uh, my top favorite would definitely be um, the Datsun Bluebird Wagon, because, you know, I'm a sucker for uh, Datsun wagons. Um, definitely followed by the off-road Chevy Silverado. And my third favorite would be the Ford Chevy GT500 Super Snake. What are your favorites? Um, do leave your comments and uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And um, till we meet next time, this is Suresh signing off. Uh, rock on and stay awesome, you guys. Bye.